Hi, and welcome to this week's lesson. My name is Alex, the founder of ESL with Purpose and the card game Phrase It. I want to help you today learn 30 irregular verbs. The most common verbs that we use in English writing, 30 irregular verbs today. So we're gonna listen and say those verbs. Ready? The first one is, was, is, was. Next one, are, were, are, were, have, had, have, had, do, did, do, did. Next one is say, said, say, said. This one is very, um, uh, this one is used a lot with Spanish speakers that I've taught. Um, a lot of times they'll say, he say me, or she say me. Um, sometimes Arabic speakers will do this too. They'll say, he say me, or she say me. And actually in English, we, we say, he told me, or she told me. We actually don't say he say me. Now, in past tense, I can say it, but I have to say said. We'll say he said to me. She said to me. So that's a little um, quick lesson on say and said. Uh, we never say he say me. So stop saying that in English and start saying he told me or she told me. That will help you improve your English. So say, said. Good. Okay, the next one is come, came. Come, came, get, got, get, got, go, went, go, went, good job, keep going, make, made, make, made, take, took, take, took, think, thought, think, thought, no, knew, no, knew, tell, told, like the say one, he told me, she told me, told, tell, told. We'll also say, tell me a story. My children like to say this. So, Daddy, read me a story or tell me a story. So, tell, told. Next one is see, saw, see, saw, find, Found, find, found, begin, began, begin, began, feel, felt, feel, felt, become, became, become, became, Give, gave, give, gave, leave, left, leave, left. Um, we'll say this too when we're going somewhere. We'll be like, oh, where, um, the, where did Alex go? Oh, he left for the store. Past tense. Leave, begin, present tense, leave, past tense, left left okay right wrote right wrote here heard here heard similar to listen um but it's more like the sound i hear listen is like focused intention on the sounds 
like I'm listening to music or I'm listening to my wife talk to me or I'm listening to my children talk to me or my, I'm listening to my friend. It's different than here. Here is like any sound. So I hear something. Hear, heard. Hear, heard. The next one, sit, sat. Sit, sat. Stand, stood. Stand, stood. Put, put. Ha! This irregular verb stays the same. Like cut, that's another one. Cut, cut, cut. Put, put, put. You don't have to change the spelling for this one in the past tense. And uh, we use this with phrasal verbs a lot too, like put away or put back. Many irregular verbs that I'm teaching you today have uh, phrasal verbs. They're phrasal verbs too. But again, put, put. Okay? Run, ran. Run, ran, and a few more here. Just got three more. Keep, kept, keep, kept, and then hold, hold, held. I held my baby, right? Held, hold. Past tense is held, present hold. Okay, and two more here. Bring, brought, bring, brought, lose, lost. Oh, the team, will they lose? Yes, they lost the game. Those are 30 irregular verbs you just learned that we use in English writing and speaking. One more time, lose, lost. If you want to learn more irregular verbs or practice the 30 that you just did, you can get this book. Um, I'm going to have a link below this video called Great Writing. It's very foundational for you in your English writing. And the author uh, does a great job. His name is Keith. He does a fantastic job of giving you activities that you can do for writing. So, for example, the one we just did here, um, he has where you can practice these irregular verbs that we just learned and some other explanations and activities that you can use to improve your English. Please click the subscribe and share button. Also, uh, you can get the Phrase It card deck. I'll have that link below and you can practice irregular verbs with phrasal verbs and it will help you improve your English uh, with fun. If you have any questions, type in the comments and I will see you in a future lesson.